All right, what's going on everybody? This is Broken Games HDR once again, and in this video, I'm gonna be discussing the Horizon Forbidden West controversy. So let's get right to it. So on the September 16th, 2020 PlayStation blog, PlayStation announced, among other things, because they discussed a lot of things uh, in this blog, that people who bought Horizon Forbidden West uh, for PS4, the PS4 version, would get a free upgrade um, to the PlayStation 5 version. So let me read to you exactly what was said. It says, we know that the PS4 community will transition to PS5 at different times, and we're happy to announce PS4 versions of some of our exclusives, Marvel's Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Sackboy, A Big Adventure, and Horizon Forbidden West will launch on PS4. Keep in mind, this announcement came after the, after the fact that we were led to believe that all of these games would be PS5 only, right? They would, they would not be cross-gen games because uh, Jim Ryan and I forgot who the other uh, PlayStation exec was, you know, um, mentioned the whole we believe in generations thing, which I will say is partially true for PlayStation because it's because it's not like we haven't gotten uh, certain games that, ha that are uh, certain exclusives from them that are PS5 only, but we were definitely led to believe that all of these games would essentially just be PS5 only, not, not cross-gen games, right? So it goes on to say, while these three games were designed to take advantage of PS5 and its unique uh, next-gen features such as the SSD, the DualSense, and the DualSense, uh, PS4 owners will also be able to enjoy these experiences when they launch. The PS4 digital versions of launch games include a free upgrade on both PS5 consoles, while the PS4 disc versions of these games include a free upgrade to the PS5 uh, with Ultra HD Blu-ray disc drive. And about a day or two ago, I think it was, when they announced the Horizon Forbidden West uh, pre-order information of the different versions, we learned this is not going to be the case. So buyers will get... Buyers will get versions for both consoles with one of three special editions starting at $79.99, $80. The $69.99 standard version for PlayStation 4 cannot be patched to a PlayStation 5 version if its buyers pick up the console later. So if I'm understanding this correctly, right, because... Let me just say my issue regarding PlayStation and these, you know, next gen upgrades is not about the cost. Just personally, that's not my thing. I say it over and over again. Cost is relative to, to the person. Whether something is, is worth it to you is completely subjective. If you don't agree something is worth it, I say just you just wait for a price drop, right? The pricing of PlayStation's games that launch, these PS5 games, I don't believe that's going to change. I, I believe there's nothing that's going to make them go f uh, from $70 games back to 60 So I think that's completely just futile and pointless for people to try to fight that, right? And, and it's not even a PlayStation, a Sony PlayStation specific thing, right? It's, Sony's not the only ones that are doing that in the industry. So I think that's pointless for people to fight. Wait for a price drop if you don't think a game is worth 70. That's, that's my stance on this. My problem with this is the messaging. My problem with this is it's very confusing. So if I'm understanding this correctly, if you have a PS4 and you get the PS4 version of Horizon Forbidden West, and then you manage to get a PS5 later, the only way for you to buy a, a the only way for you to play Horizon Forbidden West on a PS5 is you will have to essentially buy the game over again for whatever price it is at the time, which would essentially leave you with two versions of the same game that you paid full price for or whatever the price is when you bought them. If, if I'm understanding that correctly, which makes no sense. Once again, to me, the, it, it's, it's not about the, the pr price. It's about the principle. It's about the wording. It's, it's about the messaging, right? You got to stand by your word. You said it was going to be free. And I know the loophole PlayStation is using to, to justify this, even though they're not going to say anything about it. I do think that they will 
reverse this or make some changes to this before the game launches. I do believe that. Eh, I half believe it. I half believe there's no precedent to show that they will, uh, you know, reverse th this policy. But I do think it's possible, right? But you said you were going to do it. And I think the loophole they're using is in the PlayStation blog, it says launch games. It says some of our launch games and it lists Horizon Forbidden West as one of them will have free upgrades. Horizon Forbidden West is no longer a launch game. So I think that's why so that in, in PlayStation's mind, who you know, who's making the decisions, whether you want to put it point at Jim Ryan or whoever, I think that's the justification they're using. Do I think that that is a legit justification? Absolutely not. Right. So. It's it's very weird because it's like they're handling these PS4 to PS5 game upgrades on a case by case basis almost. It's not it's not consistent, right? I remember it was it was me, Jack Move, and you know Jack Move's a PlayStation guy, and it was a bunch of us in the, in the Discord, right? And this was when um, the Ghost of Tsushima upgrade upgrades were announced right and they put out the blog and they put out the explanations of okay this is what you need to do if you're in this situation um and you have ghost of tsushima and you want to upgrade to the playstation 5 version and i kid you not we sat in that discord and it, and it's like we were trying to like i don't know um solve it was like we were trying to solve like some type of murder mystery like we were trying to crash crack the da vinci code to and trying to figure out okay this is what i have what do what version of ghost do i need to get and, th and this is like and jack moves a playstation guy and he was confused right i'm reading i'm reading it's like okay if you don't own this you got to get this but if you own this but you don't have this then you need to get this but if you're on this console and you own this then you need and it's like bro i don't know what the fuck i'm supposed to buy right now I, like, once again, I don't care about the pricing. I'm just confused. What do you want me to do? I, I want. I'm okay for. Play, I'm okay with paying for premium content if it's worth it to me. I just don't know what the hell I'm supposed to buy because y'all have made it confusing as hell. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta point out the fact that all of this would be would have been avoided if they just stuck by their word. And all of these games would, would have been next gen only. And I understand they're not going to leave 120 million uh, PS4 users out there to dry, especially during this pandemic when it's it's very hard for people to get a to get even get a PS5. They're leaving a lot of money behind. I get that, but it would also have avoiding uh, have, have avoided this headache. I, I'm I'm just saying. I do also got to point out that it's very interesting. At least if you use Miles Morales as a sample even though there's 120 plus ps4s out there and miles morales is available on ps4 based on what i read um what i remember reading miles morales sold m more on playstation 5 than it did on playstation 4 and at the time when miles morales came out what how many playstation 5s were sold was i don't even i'm not even sure that if they were like even five what i don't even know i don't even remember what the playstation 5 is at right now right how many how many sold it's i think they cracked 10 million and at the time when miles morales let's say, let's say it was 5 million whatever it was like there's 120 million playstations out there 5 million playstation 5s and it's like somehow it, it's sold more on playstation 5 which leads me to believe that people are very aware of you know the the upgrades and the the benefits of playing on PlayStation 5 as opposed to PS4 and people are willing to to wait to play these games to enjoy the best versions of these games that's what's that's what that that's telling me right and that was a little bit of a tangent but i, I had to I had to point that out and the thing about the other thing about this is like PlayStation are the masters of masking bad news or not so good news with very good news they are masters at it. They, they, they are, they could teach a class on this craft, right? Because they, they do it all the time, all the time, right? And it works. It works. Like, not, like, they, they, they got like a 90% shooting percentage when they do this, right? It's, it's, it's absurd. When they announced the Horizon Forbidden West delay um if you want to consider a delay you know people always get hung up when you call things a delay or if they believe it's not a delay whatever right 
Horizon for and nobody nobody with common sense thought that the game was actually going to make it in 2021. I knew it was going to come out in 2022, right? But either way, it being pushed to 2022 wasn't necessarily positive news, right? I think delays are fine as you know, as long as it benefits the game. To me, it wasn't bad news, but it's not necessarily seen as positive news, right? So what they did was they also announced that Horizon Zero Dawn would be getting that 60 frames patch that everybody wanted and was asking for so bad. And trust and believe me, I, I am willing to bet all the money I have. I will put everything I own on the line and bet that that 60 frames patch for Horizon Zero Dawn was ready for months. It was ready for months. They always had it in the tuck and they kept it simply because they had they probably knew they weren't going to make it into 2021. So they're going to save this positive news to attach it to this somewhat bad news of this delay. And then with this Horizon for Forbidden West, um, uh, pre, pre, uh, this 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 controversy right here about the the, the no free upgrade, they announced the PlayStation Showcase that's happening this Thursday, what, the same day, around the same time, when people were figuring out there was no free upgrade? Was It It, it might have been the same hour, same day, I don't know. It was definitely around the same time, and that was strategic. That was on purpose. And you know what? It's probably going to work. And the reason I said that I think they might reverse this, but they might not, is because honestly... De depending on how this show goes this Thursday and this show might be if all indicators are telling us this show is going to be a banger banger like supernova bombs. OK, that's that's what the industry, that's what um, people on the inside um, are telling us. And I mean, all clues point to that th th this show is going to be amazing. It's going to be 40 minutes and they're going to like blow our minds. That's what all the all the writing on the wall is telling us. Right. And if the, if it actually is that, people are going to completely forget about this. And I'm not saying that's OK, but I'm just saying PlayStation knows that they're like, yeah, we're going to uh, there's not going to be a free upgrade. Announce the show. We're going to blow their mind with content and they're going to catch amnesia. They're going to completely forget this ever happened. And it happens all the time because PlayStation knows content is king and they have premium content. They have undeniable product. They have undeniable product. It, you know, it's, it's just like a, a drug dealer that's, uh, you know, fucking over his, his uh, you know, his consumers. He's, he's fucking them over, increasing the price. You know, he's he's watering down the product, but he know his product is still good. It's the best they got. So they still going to keep coming back to him. It, it is what it is. They he 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 knows he got them hooked because this shit is good. This is that good shit. OK, and they, they addicted. They love it. They're going to keep coming back and the competition ain't really giving them this. So what else they going to do? They going to keep going back to that plug. So I don't, I don't, that's why I'm just not sure if it's, if it's going to change, man. I, I really don't know. It look, I do think it looks bad on Jim Ryan because that's like, that's the second thing like that's been explicitly said, Right. The first was the we believe in generations thing. And then they did the whole, you know, 180, 180 on that. That was said while Jim Ryan was in charge. And then this, this is something else that was explicitly said. And now the opposite is being done. Companies lie all the time, right? All companies lie. So I'm not shocked when companies lie or they use like little loopholes to get out of things or, you know, they, they, they kind of mince words and do something slightly different that doesn't surprise me when you say one thing and do the complete opposite multiple times then it's like whoa buddy this is this is not even like this is not even like company type shit this is just bold face lying like and what you gonna do just straight reneging in a spades game i don't even know how to play spades but i know there's reneging in that Right. And yeah, I'm, I'm about to get slammed because I'm black and I don't know how to play spades. It's a whole nother conversation. Nope. Because every time every, every time you tell somebody, you know, black people, hey, I don't know how to play spades. I'm like, how do you know how to play spades? Yeah, because every time you tell somebody that that's how you motherfuckers react. So niggas don't niggas don't never learn how to play spades because of y'all. That's besides the point. Um, 
will this hurt hurt PlayStation? Will it hurt Sony? Probably not. I mean, sale indicators tell the story that it's not really it's not really mattering. It, it doesn't really matter. Mattering is not a word. It doesn't really matter. Um, they increased the price of seventy dollars for their game. Their games are still selling like hotcakes. They're they're still selling well. They they do what some some people perceive to be anti consumer shit. Games still selling like hotcakes, and that's all they really see. I do think, like I said, they may reverse this. I I wouldn't be surprised, but I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't, because all they're seeing is is the bottom line, and that's working out for them. I mean, I got Horizon Forbidden West pre ordered. I mean, I'm not going I'm not going to pretend like I don't. I mean, it's, content to me is everything. I'm not one of these people who acts holier than thou and is is going to, you know, hold companies to to be ethical and all that stuff. Listen, I, I would never pretend that I'm like morally responsible when it when it when when it comes to how I give companies my money. Right. Because some people act morally responsible when it comes to gaming, but then everything else they buy, it's like, OK, even though that company is probably screwing you over, you act holier than thou, and you're the moral police when it comes to video game, video game consoles. I'm just saying, if you got, if you try to be it with 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 one, you got to do it everywhere. And I'm and I'm just somebody who's who, just being honest. I'm not about to be the moral police everywhere. I'm just gonna do what benefits me. And as the consumer, I buy the games I want, and that's simple. That keeps it simple for me. But once again. Sony has a problem with messaging. I mean, they even named this dual entitlement. This is what they they named uh, when you buy this version and you get the PS4 and the PS5 version. They call it dual entitlement. I'm like, what a horrible term to use. Like from a PR, st- from the optics, shout out to Persona and Jay Bari, the optics don't look good on that. that I would have been like, no, don't don't use that word. That's that's a no, no word like that. That entitlement is, is not a word that looked 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 upon positively by gamers. That's that's not good. Don't use that word. So Sony just has to become more consistent with their wording, um, their messaging. They have to be consistent. They they have to like, and yeah, they, they're like they're they're flip flopping all over the place. I do, I will say that I don't think they had the foresight to think exactly how are we going to streamline. You know this upgrade system. They, I, I, that's something that Microsoft definitely, um, you know, looked into. You know, with the whole smart delivery thing, and you know, they created a system for it. Um, you know, whether Sony wanted to charge you for it or not, they should have just made an, an easier system, easier, easy to, uh, you know, understand uh, system for it. So, yeah, uh, this is this is my. These are my thoughts on it. They they gotta they gotta fix this because it just doesn't make any sense that there's no that there's no upgrade, right? It to me once again it's not the problem of the price of the t- extra ten dollars to upgrade. You know you're taking away you're essentially taking away an option. And if I'm also understanding this correctly, you now you're forcing people to pay an extra ten dollars for an upgrade because because if they if they bought the p usually. The, the PS4 version would be $60, right? And then the upgrade would be 10, which brings it to 70, but now it's 80. So now you're forcing them to, to pay, forcing them to pay an extra $20. Unless the standard version is 70? What? The standard version of PlayStation 4. Why and why is why is the standard version of PS4 games seventy dollars? I thought the standard version of PS4 games were still were still sixty. Am I, I I don't know because I don't pay attention to to the PlayStation Four anymore and the pricing of PlayStation Four games. But I thought the PlayStation Four games were still sixty. So why is the standard version of this? This is my point of why their messaging and needs to be fixed and they have to be consistent because I'm I've read this way before making this video and I'm still realizing stuff and I'm still confused. So PlayStation just got to fix it. That's all. Fix your messaging. Be consistent. Make it streamlined and easy. Let me know what y'all think about this. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. Hit the, hit the join member button to support the channel. And follow me on Twitter if you're already not. I'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace.